probably some of the most advanced tactics that we're seeing is one of two things. Typically, a human fraud form comes in because you're recording the screen. It doesn't look like a bot. If you put up a CAPTCHA, they go right past it because they're human. And then they fill out that form using James's information, right? They've got his information that they stolen off the internet. They've got his phone number, his email address. They fill out the form, check the little checkbox to say, yes, you have TCPA compliance. Call me, hit go. And next thing you know, James is now getting a call that he did not authorize or he did not give expressed written consent for. As much as you think you have consent for that call, you absolutely do not. And if it came down to a legal situation, it can easily be proven that James did not have access to the IP address and the user agent and the other things that were going on at the time to forensically prove that he didn't fill out that form. I am helping a client in a lawsuit prove actually the opposite of that. So we had somebody claim that they didn't fill out the form. And based on our data, we said they did. So we then requested the IP address ownership from Verizon because it was connected from a residential cable modem. And mm -hmm. Verizon backed up the situation, gave us the name, the address, and everything else, which matched that of the form. We confirmed that everything was legit. So that those two pieces of information, basically that person, somebody at that house filled out that form with that information. So lawsuit goes away. So having good data up front really helps with compliance. You call somebody that a fraudster filled out or a bot filled out that form, you do not have consent. No matter what you think you have in place, no matter what you're trying to accomplish, you absolutely don't have consent. So you want to make sure those are clear out of the gate. Plus they're not going to convert, truly convert, right? Because James didn't fill out the form. James has no interest in, I don't know, solar panels. You know, he has no interest in that. Right. So you're not going to convert those. If it's an insurance offer or something that's available to a lot of people, you know, I, I actually did this with a client. We looked at all the stuff that we marked as bad. They had a little less than 1% conversion rate where they normally have a 20% conversion rate. And they were able to see what was going on. And we did a million lead test. So a quarter million leads had a less than 1% conversion rate, which is the stuff that we identified as bad. And I told the person, wow. I, I, you know, I worked my way through college telemarketing. I could do a better job telemarketing because all you're doing right now is telemarketing. You're just calling people out of the blue, asking for the information. Meanwhile, those 250,000 leads that they called were all TCPA violations. So again, you do not have consent if fraud's involved. So eliminate fraud out of the gate. It's cheap enough to do it. Just get rid of it. And now you can start looking at the actual data, pass it on down the channel now. That's where Melanie gets involved.